What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Presley here. Guys, in this video, I'm going to show you some hacks on how to make your neons fast and easy in Roblox Adopt Me. Guys, I don't have too many neons at the moment, but I'm gonna try out all of these hacks and let's see how many neons I can make by the end of this video. Guys, if you saw one of my last videos, you would know that I'm giving away one of these awesome flower power wagons. I really like this, the flower design on the side, and I just love the license plate flower power, it's so funny. So guys, make sure to stick around because I'm going to tell you how to enter later in the video. So to make a neon, you just need four of the same pets, but they all need to be fully grown. And then you go and place them on these pedestals. You can't actually make a neon out of four neons. That'd be cool. Imagine if you could make like a rainbow neon if you have four neons of the same type. So you can put absolutely any pets onto here as long as they're full grown. Like I can put my koala there and then it just stands there. And then like you can put any fully grown pet there. But if I try, if I go and get, let's say, my newborn Shiba Inu, my newborn... But then if I go and get my newborn red panda and then try and place it there, it says pets must be fully grown to combine spirits. But I just had this idea, what if I get a fully grown pet, two different types? No, what will happen if I do this? No, I will get my other koala. I'm, I'm actually going to see if it will make a neon. Okay, all pets must be the same species and type to fuse spirits. If I made a, ko a neon koala mixed with a neon Australian Kelpie, guys, the leveling system is like really, really long. So it starts at newborn. It's so like when you first get your pet out of the egg or what, like when you get the starter dog and it starts at newborn. And then once you finish newborn, which takes about what, 10 minutes. So after newborn, you get to junior and then junior takes longer than newborn and each level takes longer than the previous level. So pretty much full grown, it takes forever to finish. So after junior, you get preteen, then teen, then post teen. And then after post teen is finished, which takes quite a long time, you get fully grown. So you need to do this four times, go through all the leveling system four times to be able to get four of the same pet. And you actually need to get four of the same pet, which sometimes can be difficult, but I've been like grinding really, really hard to make some money. And I've got a decent amount of money and I've got a decent amount of Australian pets. So guys, why not make a neon pet right now? So I'll just remove all of these pets. So there we go, I'll place one of my koalas there and then place that koala there. And I wish that you could like toggle with the color of your neon. So it's not like all the neon kangaroos or all of the neon koalas all have the same color. So let's make this neon. Let's take a look at what it looks like. So they've all disappeared and they will come out very shortly. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is so cute guys. Look at the koala. Oh my gosh, that's actually really cute. I don't know what else to say. It's like a nice little baby blue with its nose, its ears, and its feet neon. That's actually really cute. I really like this. There is just a random guy AFK in the cave. Um, buddy, what you doing? Guys, there are heaps of different types of tasks, but there are actually two different categories for all of the different tasks. So we have the blue tasks and the orange tasks. The blue tasks is when you need to do something like feed your pet or have a shower or things like that. Whereas the orange tasks are when you need to be somewhere. So for camping, camping's an orange task and we just need to be in the campsite and you can only do camping in that one area. Whereas sleeping, you can put a bed in your house, you could go to the school and do the bed. There's beds all over the map, but you don't have to go to one specific one. You can go to any one on the map. Whereas, for example, camping, you can only go to the one camping site to be able to do it. So let's make another neon. I think this time I might make one of my neon Australian Kelpies because I've got a few of those. I've got a few fully grown ones. So I'll just get that fully grown. Hello. I don't know why I called it hello. I think in the end it will become hello. If I can just rename this pet. You know what? I'm just going to let it become hello. So let's cash out this money. But look at these three, they've all got their backs to each other. It's like, I never want to see you again, but I'm about to merge bodies with you. I'm sorry, my amazing Australian Kelpies, but you're all going to have to go. I need the neon, okay? So let's just place my last Australian Kelpie here and they're all splashing. I don't know why that didn't work, but let's, let's see what this looks like. Oh my gosh. That is actually, I think one of the most neon pets ever. It's blue but it's completely blue. It's only like black that's not blue. Oh my gosh. Look at it, it's like super neon. 
Oh, oh my gosh. I actually love that so much more than what I was thinking. Guys, the color of it is really nice. I'm not gonna lie. Guys, is this a good trade? A Santa sleigh for a motorcycle? I'm really not sure if the motorcycles are in the game anymore. So that's actually super cool. Like, look at it. You're just sitting in there. Oh my gosh, I actually love this. Guys, another really fast way is to make like a mini grinding area. This is also a really good way to make money because while you're leveling up pets, as I'm sure you guys already know, you actually get money. And whenever I complete a task for my pet, as you can probably see very soon, so once it finishes, it goes up just a tiny bit and I got paid for it. So if you've got a setup like this, whenever your pet wants to do something, you can just pick it up and then put it, for example, you can have it drink, or you can have it eat. And this setup wasn't cheap, but it wasn't expensive. It was about $500. And that's to have like pizza there. You also have the water there. So it's really good. It's definitely like you'll make a profit of it if you like to grind a lot. But I also kind of go crazy at grinding. Yeah, I've got quite a big setup. So here I've got five little areas for alt accounts. And then I've got five areas here for my alt accounts pet and then one area for my pet. Guys, if you don't know what alt accounts are, they're pretty much just a fake account or one of your siblings accounts or your parents accounts if your parents play Roblox. Or pretty much any account. Free accounts, they're really good. Alt accounts are free, which is awesome. But the only downside to it is that you need another device. You can use iPads, laptops, I've even got my phone here. I'm not I'm not doing any alt account stuff. I've just got devices in front of me for some reason. Guys, right now I've got two accounts out. One alt account and my account. And I'm making heaps of money. So as you can see, whenever you're hungry, it's six bucks. But if both of your accounts and both of your accounts' pets are hungry at the same time, let me do the math. $24 just for being hungry. So it pretty much doubles the amount of money that you make just from having an alt account. And you can use like your school iPad if you're allowed to download games on your school iPad. You can use your parents' phone, a sibling's phone, absolutely anything. But you do need to be in a family to interact with each other's pets. So make sure that you're like always in a family. Otherwise it's pretty easy money and it's a really easy way to level up your pets because then you can have two of the same pets out at once. So let's go make another neon guys. So let's make another neon. I think I might just go small and I'll do the dog for now. So we'll put in this full grown dog and let's take a look on what this turns out like. So this is hopefully going to be really cool and we have, oh my gosh, this is actually really cute. Okay, I'm going to have to change the name because it's already neon right now. So I'm going to have to name it. And guys, if you want it like a nameless pet so it doesn't have a name, you just name it A and then you do control J. So I'm not sure if this works on like iPad or mobile, but it definitely works on computer. And then you just do A. So it's A, control J, A. So... Now you press save and it does not have a name, which is super cool. And now I can just walk around with my neon dog. This is actually super sick. My goal in the game is to first get one of every single pet and then get a neon version of every single pet. And then the most expensive part is going to be getting a neon fly ride of every single pet in the game. It's definitely going to be like a long task to get every single pet. So I haven't been adop in Adopt Me that long. Like, I think I had a week of farm eggs or like two or three weeks of farm eggs. Guys, if you want to enter the giveaway for the flower wagon, all you need to do is leave a like on this video, subscribe to my channel, and let me know down in the comments below your Roblox username. And once you've done those things, you're in the draw. Guys, it takes like 10 seconds to do that stuff. So it's definitely not a waste of time. And this flower power wagon is $3,000 and it's totally worth entering the giveaway because it looks so cool. So guys, there are heaps and heaps of strollers. I've got a few of them, like I've got crate strollers, I've got the default stroller, I've got the triple stroller, but the one that I find the most useful when I'm playing Adopt Me is the double stroller. Even though when you've got the double stroller, it's only two, when the triple stroller gives you three, but when you've got the triple stroller and you're an adult, I'll just show you. So go into parent. So when you've got the stroller, it bangs into everything. I actually really love making neons, it looks super cool. Okay, so I just need to put it there and then we can have Another neon. I'm actually, I'm actually making so many neons today. Okay, so they're all flashing. This looks super cool. And let's take a look at this neon bamboo. Oh my gosh, it's pink. Just like the rat. That is so cool. And like, it's got its nose, its ears, its feet, and the little tip of its tail. That's actually really cute. All of them are looking at me right now. Let's get out the last fully grown dingo. And let's put it into here. And let's look at it. While it's, where's, where's it gone? Oh my gosh, it just disappeared for some reason. And now we are back. And we have it green? Okay, this is cool. It's got its tail, its feet, its nose, and its ears, which 
Is that the same as the Bandicoot? Oh my gosh, it's like the exact same parts of the body as the Bandicoot, which is really cool. Guys, I really hope that all of my neon hacks helped you for when you're trying to make some awesome neons like this Australian Kelpie. Guys, don't forget to leave a like on this video, subscribe to my channel, and let me know down in the comments below your Roblox username so that you can enter the giveaway for the awesome Flower Power Wagon. See you guys all in my next video. Peace!